Hi everybody, this is Randy Suits with a letter and a song. Our letter for 28 April is Eve Believes in Me. My darling Eve, you held unexplainable influence over me from the moment we met at work. I liked what I saw I was peculiarly at ease in your company, and you filled my need to interact and communicate as no one else. And I must say, ever after as well. We had lunch with associates and chatted when we chanced to meet in the aisles or at the printer. Ever hungry for meaningful and satisfying relationship, I found myself all the more enamored with this delicate and lovely creature. With one smile, expression of appreciation, or look in my direction, I would hope for one more minute of bliss with you. That's how we fell in love. Did I fall in love with you first? Were you just as pleased with my company as I was with yours? The questions and uncertainty, when apart, were laced with an avid desire to see you again, when we would eagerly and hungrily imbibe ourselves, drinking of the sweet nectar of affection and endearment, rising on eagle's wings, of love. I was emboldened with the realization that you believed in me. When others had sowed seeds of doubt, you encouraged and praised my ideas, thoughts, efforts, and work. To this day, you believe in me, and this enables me to be the best man that I can be. I am my best with you, and you bring out my best by simply being yourself. You, my Eve, believe in me. You know that I can do all that you tell me, and because of your certainty, I can do all that you say. I must do all you say, not out of a sense of duty, but in response to your trust and confidence. How like God is your trust in me? God likewise believes that we can overcome adversity, strife, weakness, grief, loss, and temptation like his son Jesus Christ in his earthly life, sacrificial death, and life-restoring resurrection when he was seated at the right hand of the Father. God believed first in his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, who instilled the faith in us, his disciples, to trust in his belief in our abilities as we align our will with his own. Because he believes in us, we are encouraged and enabled to accomplish his greatest aspirations for us. It is written, he wills and causes us to do his good pleasure. Opposite of Satan, the great doubter and hater of the souls of men, Christ is the great believer who calls us to lofty achievements which are the multiplied yield of the seed of his life-giving faith. I love him because he knows our abilities and believes we will achieve them. He believed that I could care for and love you, my darling Eve, and he brought you to me, trusting that I would always cleave to you as I cleave to him. As we walk together, even when we are apart, because he loves us, we are called to stand together as the purpose for which we are called approaches. I can always praise God and give thanks because you believe in me 
just as our Lord believes in us. Glory, praise, and thanks be to the Most High God in, in Christ Jesus our Lord. Your Kohane. <clears throat> the great believer, the greatest of all, was Jesus Christ. He lived the life, and he gave his life for us that in his resurrection we might be restored to all that God planned for us in the beginning. And now I'm going to do a special song for today called Rainbow. I'm saving my money to buy you a rainbow. it on your finger and after I've gone and bought you the rainbow I'll go out and I'll buy you the moon when we go walking side by side in the moon count the stars as we go strolling by. Maybe one day we'll own those beautiful diamonds that glisten like the teardrops from your eyes. You know how I feel seem to glow when you whisper low I really love you I'm saving my money buy you a rainbow a rainbow to fit on impossible when you're deeply in love and in, in the newness of that feeling and the power of young love. And so now, may the Lord, even the Most High God, be with you in all that you think, say, do, and are. Thank you for being, and God willing, we'll see you again soon.